Yellow! Before I start talking about this luxury five-star high-end um, cologne, I just want to say that I have damn finally completed four years of university and I was like, girl, I should probably treat myself and I should probably smell rich, even though I ain't. As a boy, I do have a few colognes, but um, I have majority perfumes. So the cologne I decided to purchase for myself was the Valentino Uomo. Girl, if I am butchering that name, U-U-O-M-O. So what is Valentino Uomo? This is a men's fragrance that was actually launched in 2004, so about three years ago. So I found a lot of the claims and what it is um, off of Fragrantica's website. The idea was to create a fragrance that would be a classic of the future. Okay, um, I don't get that. Men who strive for classics and light casual style. Let me just take a moment to understand that because I don't. <laughs> so I'm assuming that it's just supposed to smell like very classic, very casual every day. I don't know what it means by the future, girl. I'm not trying to smell like a damn robot. So the main accords, accords, or I'm not sure how to pronounce that, of this fragrance are, it's supposed to be woody, natty, sweet, have cocoa, and coffee. There's this one perfume that I don't own actually, and it's just because it's so pricey and I don't see myself like throwing bells down for it. It's YSL's Black Opium. And one of the main um, accords, accords, or top notes or whatever is um, coffee. So if this has coffee um, and like cocoa, I'm sure I'm gonna I'm gonna adore this. I purchased this from Winners. For all my Canadians, they probably are fully aware of what a Winners is. It's a department store. For any Americans, I think like the closest thing that y'all have is probably like a TJ Maxx. So I bought the 50 mil. So basically, it's 1.5 fluid ounces. I got it for a whopping 59.99. That's like not bad at all for a very high-end um, brand. Let's open this up and um, let's see what it smells like. I absolutely hate like ripping apart like the packaging, or not the packaging, but I mean like the, the whatever it's wrapped in because I feel like it's like taking away, it's like new it, newness or no, okay, that girl, just forget that. I don't make sense right now. So, oh shit. Right off the bat, girl, you could tell that this is some expensive ass cardboard because it is textured, they're nice like, there's like this engraving, I don't know, okay, anyways. Okay, so it kind of gives instructions on how to like spray. Girl, I'm pretty sure I'm not too, I know how to pump it down. So it's brand new. Okay, it's smaller than I thought. Actually, no, it's it's like a, a decent generic size. So it comes with this like black thing that you just like, I guess, take off because you have to secure it from pumping. It's very, very classy and pretty. Some people I, I read online say it's like tacky, but I don't find it tacky at all. Like this is gorgeous. The weight of this is pretty heavy. Like you could tell like the glass is very thick. Enough talking, I'm gonna get to spraying. I'm trying to avoid my neck because I watch Jeffree Star's anti-aging video and he's like, oh, like alcohol, like perfume is like fill up, full, filled with alcohol so it like it dries up the skin. So I'm gonna avoid my neck. What is the matter? It's coming, it's coming. Okay, oh, there's one spritz. I read this online and I totally agree. This smells very similar to Dior Home. Home, like I don't, it's the, basically the Dior fragrance for men. Oh my God, I love this. And I'm not being fake, y'all. I'm telling you right now, I'm not being fake. The thing I love about this, it, it has kind of like that feminine touch to it. It's very obviously mas like masculine and like very confident, but it kind of has that like little sweet touch to it. So right off the bat, the notes are very different from what I'm used to. I normally like my like vanillas, my caramels, my sugars. It is very delicious, like as the notes describe, because you do have roasted coffee beans, you have chocolate, you have hazelnut, so. I smell that, it's very like dessert-like, I guess. Like it smells like an Italian pastry. I hate that word pastry, like an Italian, like bakery. I'm gonna give myself one more spritz because I absolutely adore this. Oh, anyways, there's not much I can talk about when it comes to perfumes. I just wanna tell you guys that this is beautiful. Like this smells elegant and it smells very classy, but very like confident. And although it does have that like feminine touch to it, it's like very like still like strong, like masculine, like confident. Like I keep using the word confident, but like it's a mature, like businessman kind of like scent, which I am not at all. I am a poor student. <laughs> One thing that I like about it, it is not overpowering. Like it is not like me plugging my nose because of how strong it is. I could actually say this is unisex. It's strange. Like I feel like this could work for anybody because it has like that sweet touch to it, but it also has that like very like manly, like um masculine scent to it. I give this 
a... I'm gonna say a 10 out of 10. I always boost products. Every product that I've reviewed, I've always given it, like, a damn perfect rating because I'm not just being nice. I'm just genu like, genuinely, like, telling you, like, um, that I love it. <laughs> and I love the idea that, like, it doesn't have, like, a lid for it. Like, every generic perfume or fragrance does. This is kind of, like, unique. I've never really seen that before. And I also like the fact that it's not an opaque bottle. Like, it is see-through because then you get to see how much product you have left over. That is my favorite thing when it comes to reviewing products is seeing, like, Okay, like, can I see the product through it? Because I'm not sure how much I have left over. All in all, Valentino girl, as bougie as you are, and as bougie as I am not, I'm super impressed with this, and, well, I mean, like, how could I not be? It's, like, 60, 70 bucks. <laughs> but that is all I have to say for this. But that is all I have to say for this. Mwah! Valentino, you have my heart, and mm, pink sugar might be replaced for the next little bit. <laughs> Anyways, that's all I have to say right now. If anybody's watching, if... I don't think anybody will probably be watching, but um, I will probably see you guys in the next video. I hope this was helpful, so mwah. I'll talk to y'all later. Teach your wells.